Hello friends, in today's video, we are discussing about Infosys Senior System Engineer interview questions and answers. What are the key responsibilities of Senior System Engineer at Infosys? A Senior System Engineer is responsible for managing and maintaining IT infra, troubleshooting hardware, software and network issues, implementing security policy, disaster recovery solutions, automating system administration tasks, coordinating with IT teams for system upgrades and optimization. How do you troubleshoot network related issues in corporate environment? First, we have to identify the issue, means error message, logs, we have to check. Then we have to check the connectivity using ping, tracer, root, NS lookup. Then we have to check the device configuration. We have to analyze the log. We have to restart network devices. Then we have to escalate. If we are not able to handle the issue, we can escalate to the ISP. What is virtualization? How does it benefit IT infra? Virtualization is actually the, creating the virtual machine, creating the virtual instances of computing resources. Okay. Using software like VMware, Hyper-V, KVM. Cost saving, that is the big benefit. That's scalable. Whenever we require, we can scale up, scale down, improve the disaster recovery and resource optimization. Explain the difference between TCP IP and OSI model. Actually, TCP IP is nothing but transmission control protocol and OSI is open system interconnection. Uh, TCP is created by US Depar Department of Defense and in OSI is created by ISO. The big difference between the layers, TCP IP is having four layer while OSI having seven layer. In TCP IP, we saw network interface layer internet transport application in osi we are we are having physical data link network transport station and presentation there okay there are protocols in uh, in this layer is http tcp udp ip but okay so, uh, then what is active directory and how does it work Active Directory is the Microsoft Directory services that manages users, computers and permissions within the network. The important component in Active Directory is Domain Controller, which is the central authentication server. Okay, then it, which have users and groups. In our company, we are having different different groups like IT, Admin, HR. And if you want to give a specific access to specific uh, department only, then we have to manage that using this Active Directory okay in that we are having group policy means which department having which group policy will be affected by which particular department that we will define by group policy any LDAP protocol is there that will handle what whatever authentication request we are getting that will be handled by LDAP protocol then how do you handle server downtime and disaster recovery planning for that we are having four thing preventive measures means we have to regularly backup to our systems monitoring and redundancy incident response we have to identify the issue we have to roll back if required and we have to apply fixes disaster recovery planning we have to plan if we have to prevent these things in future then we have to document them and we have to create one plan if, if any uh, that type of issue is happening in future how we should tackle with them what are the best practices for security securing windows and linux server the number one is windows having its own inbuilt security that is windows defender but we are using bitlocker also and we have to implement gpu policies also this is group policy in linux security we have to configure ip tables file to ban and slina and in general we have to keep our system updated we have to apply patches at time to time we have to enforce the strong password okay and we, whichever services which is not required we have to disable them how do we monitor and maintain system performance? Uh, for uh, managing the system performance, in, in Windows, we are having Task Manager, Performance Monitor, and Event Viewer. In Linux, we are using Top, HTOP, IOTOP, SAR, in monit and monitoring tools like Nagio, Zabbix, Prometheus, CloudWatch that we are using. Explain the role of load balancer in a network. Actually, load balancer is very essential part, which is we are using in cloud also. Uh, load balancer actually distribute our incoming traffic across the multiple server to ensure the high availability and performance. 
देर आर हैविंग लेयर फोर लोड बैलेंस है लेयर सेवन लेयर फोर इज ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर लेयर सेवन विच इज मैनेज बाई एस टी टी पी एस टी टी पी एस रिक्वेस्ट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन हाउ डू यू इम्प्लीमेंट सिक्योरिटी क्लाउड बेस्ड एप्लीकेशन एक्चुअली वी आर यूजिंग ऑथेंटिकेशन एंड जे डब्ल्यू टी फॉर ऑथेंटिकेशन वी आर यूजिंग एनक्रिप्शन कीज पब्लिक की प्राइवेट की वन ऑफ द कंसेप्ट इज देयर क्लाउड नेटिव फायर वॉल एंड डब्ल्यू एफ लाइक इन एज यूर डेट इज एज यूर डिफेंडर इन एडब्ल्यू एडब्ल्यूएस वे डब्ल्यू एफ वॉट इज आई टी आई एल एंड वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर सिस्टम इंजीनियर एक्चुअली आई टी आई एल इज नथिंग बट इट इज अ सेट ऑफ बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस फॉर आई टी सर्विस मैनेजमेंट इट इम्प्रूव द सर्विस इफिशियंसी रेड्यूस द डाउन टाइम एंड एनहांसेस कस्टमर सेटिस्फेक्शन हाउ डू यू ऑटोमेट सिस्टम एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन टास्क यूजिंग स्क्रिप्ट we are using in windows we are using powershell for user management for schedule task in linux we are using bash scripts for backup log rotation system updates and in python we are python and also one of the uh, tool that is ansible that we are using for automate deployment and server configuration what is rid and what are the different rid levels actually rid is redundant array of independent disk which is improves the storage performance and redundancy we are having disk management one concept is there in that we are using one of the type of disk management that is rid rid zero is for uh, striping no redundancy red one is for mirroring red five for striping with parity and red 10 is for mirroring and striping how do we perform root cause analysis for a system failure first we have to check the log and events we have to identify what actually the current uh, changes is happening and why this is happening and be, uh, after, by the changing of that particular by doing that particular update if anything happened we have to check that then we have to check the tools like uh, we have to check cpu memory disk and network usages sometimes what happen our system getting continuously hang there are lots of issues are there okay so sometimes our utilization is beyond 100% that time system is continuously hang so in that time we have to disable we have to end the specific application which is not required and we have to apply the fixes and document the findings and whichever things we have getting by using our root cause analysis we have to fix them what are the difference between on premises and cloud computing today is this, this is very important question actually on premise means we are having our own in house infrastructure we are having our own server and we have to manage our own server okay that is present in our company location in our office location in our main headquarter location whichever is there but in cloud computing we are taking the cloud we are taking the virtual machine on the rent so how much we are using that much only we have to pay if i am using virtual machine for 1 hour then only we i have to pay for 1 hour i don't want to pay but in on premise we are buying the particular hardware particular server for one time but we require a higher cost and we have to continuously maintain them okay and cloud computing reduce the cost and improve the accessibility while on premise offer more control and security yes we are required persons to manage this particular thing we require support person we require network related uh, person to manage all the things how do we manage user access control and permission actually for that we are having one concept that is roll back access control and multi factor authentication in roll back access control actually we are assigning some role in our organization and we are giving the permission up to that role only if someone wants to use if i'm uh, explaining that things like if uh, i'm having there are lots of uh, permissions like global administrator teams administrator exchange administrator if i'm exchange administrator means i am only able to handle the issues related to exchange administrator whichever the policies assign related to exchange that only i am using if if i am exchange administrator and i am using for team administrator related task that is not allowed that directly told us that is not allowed for you 
like that and in multi factor authentication is nothing but the extra layer security for our organization and it secures the each and every users account okay we have to manually configure them into the devices of users so users only able to access the particular device by putting some keys onto the display how do you troubleshoot DNS and DHCP issues? Actually, DNS is nothing but it is the domain name system protocol that is take the name resolution using NS lookup. Okay, if you are ping 8.8.8.8, means what? That is the Google. Okay, so we have to creating that is the there are the multiple types in DNS that that is another term. Primary lookup zone, secondary lookup zone, another concept is there. And records also there. There are um, multiple records. The name record is there. Okay. So like that is. And in DHCP, I ensure the server is running. Leases are available and clients also IP address correctly. Actually in DHCP, we are having two types. That is static address and one is DHCP address. Static address means we have to manually configure. We have to manually give the IP address. But in DHCP, we have to ensure we have to give some range that particular DHCP server so that DHCP server which allow if we are having that we have to give the IP address according to how much users we have and according to that it will distribute it towards the all user and it will lease it also okay if it expire immediately it will get another IP address okay what tools do you use for system monitoring and reporting? Actually, we are using Prometheus, Nagio, Jabex, SolarWinds to monitor network traffic, system health, and performance matter. How do you ensure business continuity in case of system failure? I implement backup strategies. Continuously, we are taking backup of our system. Okay, redundancy, failure systems, disaster recovery plans to ensure the minimum downtime and continuity. Explain the importance of patch management and software update. Actually, regular patching prevent security vulnerabilities, improve the system stability, and which ensures the compliance. Okay. I use tools like WSUS, SCTM, and automated patching solutions. Okay. What is your approach to handling multiple high priority system issues simultaneously? Actually, I prioritize you issues based on impact delegate task if possible and used ITSM tools like ServiceNow in Jira to track and resolve problem efficiently. Thank you.